Our first word is petal. Petal is a very important part of the plant. The petal is the the beautiful part of the plant, right? They are the thin, colorful parts of a flower, right? So many plants have flowers, or they have flowers usually in the springtime, right? Even trees, right? They will have these little green buds, and then the green buds will open, and they'll be blue, or they'll be red, or white, and the the they're very thin. They're like leaves almost, but they're thin, and they feel almost like plastic or wax, and they're very colorful. So they are thin, colorful, colorful. Sorry, colorful parts of a flower. Thin, colorful parts. Of a flower on many types of plants. Next, we have a thorn. Ouch! Right? Be careful. A thorn is a sharp, pointed part of a plant. It's a good picture of thorns. Do you like roses? Many roses. When you pick, be careful. Picking or touching a rose bush because they have many thorns. So you have to be very careful if you want to give、uh, your mom or your girlfriend a rose. Be careful holding the rose, right? Because if you、uh, if the thorn pricks your skin, it actually goes into your skin and and ow, ouch, right? It uh, uh, may hurt you. And you have blood, right? So that's a thorn, sharp, pointed part of a plant. Be careful around some plants that have thorns. Okay. Next, we have vine. Vine. Now, vines are cool plants because you know they start off low, but as they grow, they send out little.、Uh, we'll see the word later.、Uh, they're called tendrils, but they send out little parts of the plant that grow up a building or a wall, and it's kind of cool because the picture shows it well. You see, the vine sends out all these little branches, and they climb up. Or they climb along a wall. They climb over a building. Many famous colleges in America are called Ivy League colleges because they're so old. The buildings are very old, and the vines that grew on the bottom they grew along the side of the building. So you don't see the building; you just see the vine. So the buildings are covered with the vines. Very interesting vine. Okay, next, attract. Attract is to cause someone or something to move towards you. To attract is, you know, to make someone like you, or something makes other people like it. Or not just people, but it could be animals, or in this case, insects. Right. So if you think about it, a flower has many beautiful petals. Right. So the is it the beautiful, colorful petals that attract bees? No, it's the smell of the of the center of the flower. The bees smell that, and they're attracted to it. Now, of course, scientists are saying that sometimes the patterns on the petal、uh, also attract bees, so it also helps bees. But basically, they're saying, "Hey, bees, come here. We've got some、uh, nice pollen for you." So they're attracting bees to the flower, right? If you have an ice cream truck. Come through your neighborhood, right? You hear the music. The music attracts all the kids to come and get ice cream. Yay! Or they hear the bell, ding, ding, ding. You know the little the little musical bells that play when the ice cream truck comes through the neighborhood. So to attract means to to make people or to cause people to say, oh, great, and they get excited and they want to go see something or they want to go get something or、uh, you know they come towards that thing. That is attracting them. Okay, interesting word. Next, support. Support is important, right? Support is、uh, when you hold something in place or you help something stand up. Let's say something is not very strong; it will fall over if you don't support it. You put something here, you know, maybe a a, a piece of wood or a wall to help it stand up. Buildings, of course, have metal pieces、uh, to help support the building and a, and a good foundation, 
right? Uh, older people might use a stick to support them as they walk along the trail when they go hiking, right? So support is something that helps hold another thing in place or helps hold another thing upright. That's support. And of course, we can also talk about supporting other people. Sometimes people get sad or they feel they're not, um, they're, they, they need some help. So you can support other people. You can cheer them up. You're helping them get back on their feet. Good job. Support. Okay. Spread, right? Before I talked about vines, right? They grow up and around. They don't just grow up the building. They grow along the sides of the building too. To, to, so to spread means to cover a larger and larger area over time. They spread out, right? Spread out is usually a common combination of words. To spread or to spread out. Vines spread over the building, right? So they spread out over a larger and larger area over time to spread. Okay, good. Dandelion. Now, everybody knows what a dandelion is. You probably see them growing everywhere. Actually, my dad hated dandelions because dandelions are actually weeds. They're a wild plant. They have yellow flowers, but like, you know, my dad and many other people, they say they have no use and they grow everywhere. They grow where you don't want them to grow. They will grow in the cracks in a sidewalk. My dad's like, oh, we got to get rid of the dandelions. Or if he's trying to have, a, you know, he has grass in front of his house. He doesn't like dandelions because they'll take over and they'll kill all the grass. So dandelions are a wild plant. They're a very tough plant. Many people think of them as weeds. Weeds is an unwanted plant. So dandelion. Although dandelions are cool because you can pick them and you can blow and all the seeds go away. So they're kind of cool too. Okay, dandelion. Cactus. Now, Actually, cactus, I have uh, also experience with cactus. I used to live in Arizona, which is in the southwest part of America. We had cactus like this in our backyard. They're called saguaro. Ooh, that's a difficult word. Don't worry, it's a type of cactus. There are really tall cactus and there are small cactuses. Some people say cactuses, some people say cactus. Cacti. Cacti is Latin, but a lot of people just say cactuses. It's okay. So there are big cactuses and there are small cactuses. There's all different kinds of cactuses. But cactus have one thing in common. All kinds of cactuses, they all have one thing in common. Do you see on the picture, do you see those, those little things coming off the cactus? Those are thorns. Remember we talked about thorns. They're sharp parts of a plant. They're like needles. And on a cactus, oh my gosh, they have a lot of these, a lot of these thorns all over them, right? A plant covered in thorns and they usually grow in the desert, like in Arizona, where we used to live. And so you have to be careful around the cactus because those thorns will stick you. And even if you're walking in jeans, right, they can even go through your jeans. So you have to be careful around cacti or cactuses. Okay, Whew. it's a cactus. Okay, our last word. Remember I talked about vines. Uh, they grow, right? As vines grow, they sound out branches, but you can also call them tendrils. Tendril is a part of a plant that can grab onto things. And if you look at the picture, you see the little curly things at the ends of the, of the uh, leaves on this uh, branch. It looks like uh, kind of an ivy, I don't know, maybe a palm uh, branch. But those have little hooks and they can reach out and they can grab onto things. And that's how a vine grows up a building. They have little tendrils and the little hooks and they go into the concrete or the brick wall and they kind of hold onto it. And then so that supports it so it can grow even more and spread out over a larger area. Aha, uh -huh. so tendril, we can see tendril is important, but we also can see how it supports a plant and also how it can spread out over other areas. So good word, we can uh, use the other words we just studied 
to help explain what a tendril is, part of a plant that can grab onto things. Don't worry, it won't grab onto you. It's not that fast. It takes a long time. So whew, don't worry. Okay, okay, that wraps up our vocabulary section. Let's move on. Lesson 2. Plant Parts Petal One of the thin, colorful parts of a flower. Thorn A sharp, pointed part of a plant. Vine a plant that climbs up or over things. Attract. To cause someone or something to move towards another thing. Support. To hold something in place. Spread. To cover a larger and larger area over time. Dandelion. A wild plant with yellow flowers. Cactus. A plant covered in thorns that grows in deserts. Tendril. The part of a plant that can grab onto things. <laughs>